We're at a pivotal time in American history. Everything offends someone. The mere possession of an inanimate object can have you labeled as a domestic terrorist. And while this is happening, we as a community are throwing a temper tantrum. Welcome back to The Gun Collective. My name is John Patton, and the fight for gun rights continues. Neomag offers a slick solution to discreetly carrying a spare magazine securely in your pocket. Available in small, medium, and large to hold anything from 380 to 10 mil. Also now available are the extended clip versions, which allow you to carry deeper in your pocket or carry your spare mag with an extension. Utilizing strong neodymium magnets, a steel backer, and titanium clips, these things are built to last. To get 10% off your entire order over at theneomag.com, use the code TGC10. It was a couple weeks back that I tweeted and reposted on Instagram a comment I made about the way to move our community forward. I said, we cannot just stomp our feet and say all gun laws are unconstitutional because that gets us nowhere. Whether you like it or not, the gun rights talk is a conversation we have to have with people that do not want you to have a gun. Start thinking of how to educate instead of throwing a tantrum. And that quote pissed a few people off. I think largely because people often misinterpret the word conversation to mean the same thing as compromise. Some people heard me say conversation with the opposition and immediately started stomping around and saying, shall not. Not once have I ever wanted to compromise on the right to bear arms. There's no reason to do that. It's enumerated in the U.S. Constitution. However, we are at an impasse. Our right to bear arms is more infringed than it ever has been. A lot of folks are talking about repealing all gun laws, as if that's even close to a possibility right now. Ideally, sure, let's scrap all that garbage off the books. But here, in reality, they are piling up laws against us, and all we seem to be able to do is stand in place and hope we don't get pushed over. It's like demanding that we go to Jupiter before we even get people on the surface of Mars. It's not impossible, but we damn sure ain't gonna make it happen overnight. But there is a way to move forward. We need to push back. And I'm sure some folks might disagree with my methodology, but hear me out. Let me take a second to share something that I've learned about human behavior. Some of you may have heard me say this before. I'll say it as clear as I can. No one likes being told that they are wrong. One more time. No one likes being told that they are wrong. Why does this matter? F their feelings, right? Well, of course, feelings don't matter when it comes to facts. However, we are losing this fight based on facts. We are losing because we have seemingly been unable to push our fight forward through emotionally connecting with the other side. If you're talking to someone that is either anti-gun entirely or not sure about gun ownership, or maybe somewhere in the middle, and the conversation starts to get challenging, it's very easy to fall back on the Constitution. But if you are speaking to people that fundamentally disagree with the Constitution, as stupid as that might be, you are essentially telling them or making them feel like they are wrong. And that causes people to dig in even harder on their points, regardless of the truth. What we should be doing is letting people speak and actually listening to their concerns and then helping them understand your point of view. Instead of trying to shove it down their throats and using logic and facts like we usually do, we need to take a different path. Educate people enough and guide them into thinking that your way of thinking is their own original thoughts. Plant the seeds of freedom in their brains, walk away and let them grow, only tending that garden as needed. The anti-gunners are excellent at making emotional arguments and convincing the impressionable people out there that gun owners are evil. They say things like, don't you care about the lives of the dead or what about the children? And they'll even go as far as having crying children up on a news broadcast after a shooting. I call that weaponized children. Of course, we care about the lives lost. Of course, we care about the children. But we are being painted into a corner and labeled as the enemy because we refuse to be punished for the acts of a murderer or terrorist. 
Educate through discussion. Sit down with your fellow man and talk to them. Be honest, be kind, and be understanding. Those children crying on TV may have just lost someone very important to them. That's really sad. But at the same time, it's important to understand that the sadness of those kids can be used in different ways. Tell a story about your own children or loved ones. Paint the picture of your family being destroyed if you were unable to defend yourselves. Help people understand that being defenseless is not a moral high ground. Being responsible parents might just mean stopping a bad guy from hurting your kids with the use of a firearm. That is the same tactic that they've been using for years, emotionally connecting with people to educate. It is time we took the opportunity and challenges that we're being faced with nationwide and turn things around. Show up at rallies, contact your lawmakers, and get involved anywhere you can. Have those conversations. We have never had more gun laws on the books than we do right now. And the only way to turn this around is by showing people how much that can ruin lives. Just because you're having a conversation with people does not mean you have to give an inch. I hope that a lot of you actually take something away from this. I hope that this mindset sinks in and makes you feel empowered to take charge of your rights and push back. Together, pushing in the same direction, we can turn things around for gun rights in the U.S. We really can. If you have anything to add, please drop that in the comments. And of course, if you think this needs to be seen by others, share it everywhere you want to. Be sure to hit the like button as well, because all of that kind of stuff actually helps spread this message. As always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.